Water is, of course, one thing we cannot live without. And now a new report suggests nearly half of the drinking water in the U.S. is contaminated with what have become to be known now as forever chemicals. Right, so they're called forever chemicals because they don't just linger in the environment, they also last forever in our bodies. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why that's such a major concern. Doc. Well, Kim and Devin, the chemicals are known as PFAS, P-F-A-S, and they aren't just one chemical. They're really a class of chemicals consisting of thousands of man-made substances. Now, growing awareness has led to better tracking by state and federal agencies, but this new report finds they are even more common than previously thought. This map of the United States shows locations that were tested for the forever chemicals known as PFAS by the U.S. Geological Survey. The areas with blue circles were positive for PFOS. The larger the circle, the more PFOS detections there were. You can see here in Michigan, while there were several areas that tested positive, the concern is not as wide as in other parts of the U.S. To do the survey, scientists collected water samples directly from taps in 716 locations throughout the U.S. 447 were from public water sources and 269 were from private wells. Ultimately, at least one PFOS was detected in 40% of public supplies and 20% of private wells. The finding of PFOS in well water is especially concerning because these private wells are not generally tested for this type of contamination. PFOS are synthetic chemicals used in a huge range of industries, from making carpeting and clothes stain resistant, creating nonstick coatings for food packaging and cooking surfaces, all the way to firefighting foams. While the effect of PFOS on human health is still being studied, there is information suggesting they may affect growth, learning, and behavior in infants and children, lower a woman's chance of getting pregnant, interfere with body hormones, increase cholesterol levels, affect the immune system, and increase the risk of cancer. Now, for those of us who drink the water from municipal sources that are supplied by the Great Lakes Water Authority, which is basically the majority of southeast Michigan, the good news is their annual testing has not found any PFAS in our drinking water. Good. Yeah, really yeah. good. So for people who are concerned and want to filter out these chemicals, how yeah. easy is that to do? Well, actually, it's not as easy as you might hope, to be honest. The only two systems that some people might have access to either use multi-stage filters or reverse osmosis filters. Mm. The filters that you might have attached to your tap, like a pure filter or maybe a Brita filter pil uh, pitcher, they actually do not remove PFAS. So it's harder to get rid of than you might think. There's been the suggestion that Michigan has a bigger PFAS problem than other places, but some have said no, Michigan is just testing more than other places yeah. have. This would suggest that, that yeah. everybody's got this problem. Everybody does, and certainly along the East Coast where there's more manufacturing areas, mm -hmm. yeah. those are certainly hot spots for yeah. PFAS. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you. Mm -hmm.